Hello YouTube, my name is Chris and this is my next home theatre. Today I'm going to share with you my project's brief, problems, ideas. In my last home, we had a media room which had both television and a projector with a motorised screen. However, in this house, I'm going to get the chance to do a dedicated home theatre. Problem number one, we've got a chandelier in the way where there should actually be a projector. Problem number two, two very large openings, one there with a fish tank and one there near a front door. I'll get to the solutions in a minute. The next issue is the seating. In our other room where the TV is, I've got two very nice recliners. However, my missus prefers sitting on them, so I've scored two brown leather couches. They're not too bad, reasonably comfortable, however, they're pretty flat and the rear row will always suffer from the people who may sit in front of them. The next little issue is these beautiful ends to the room between the home theatre and study. Nice decorative wood panelling, light to accent things, but there's some planter boxes on that one and also that one as well. The first thing I need to do is get a carpenter in to infill this space, install double doors, and infill this above the doorway. I will hope to put a now showing sign there. On the opposite side, I'll leave this recess space and install some LED mood lighting. I'm a bit torn as to go with a 100 inch screen or a 90 inch. I drafted with some string lines here what a 90 inch would look like. What I'm doing is actually planning to hide the speakers behind some acoustic uh, transparent screens. So I've got to be mindful of the woodwork to support the frame and not block them or create any resonance. Here's some schematic diagrams. This first one is the framing that I imagine needs to be created to support the acoustic panels. Here's a 100 inch screen. A schematic diagram of the support beam and the screen and the panels and the hopeful end product. I'll install in this planter box a wooden panel over the top that would be for the candy bar and this one for movie memorabilia, geeky toys and the like. I'll also do the same thing for that one over there. To overcome the rear row potentially having a view blocked by the front row I'll raise this couch using a wooden box by about five inches. So as you can see there's a lot to do. I've got to get a carpenter in plaster an electrician plus repaint and do a little bit of carpet work so please comment like subscribe and i hope to see you back here real soon